for fast lane. And today we're gonna destroy an AGV Pista GP RR. This has been my dream helmet for a while. And I just, they can never justify spending $1,500 on a helmet. When I saw that Iridium come out, I was like, oh, we gotta have it. Cause the helmet I had, I'd been using for about four years and it was, it was time. <laughs> and I was like, if I'm gonna get a new helmet, I'm getting something I absolutely love cause I'm keeping it for a while. Now, as you guys can see, I have the Husky 701 Supermotor pulled out. Man, I cannot wait for this season so I can get some wheelies done on this thing, some hooliganism off-roading. It's gonna be uh, absolutely insane. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is gorgeous. Now, one thing I did say I needed if I was gonna get this helmet was the motor vlogging setup was gonna be absolutely flawless. I didn't want any wires hanging around. I didn't want any tape anywhere. Just a nice, clean look. We're gonna install my GoPro Hero 9 with the media mod on it and my Cine Bluetooth headset. Now we may or may not be throwing the Mohawk on there. <laughs> I feel like with the Mohawk, you either love it or you hate it. And if you hate it, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Gotta remember, this is my helmet that I bought with my money, so I don't really care if you don't like it. I mean, I love you, but I know it's a race helmet. It's supposed to be aerodynamic and light. If I do do a track day, this obviously will come off and it'll be used for its actual purpose. But if you love it, I love you. <laughs> now, first things first, here's what you're gonna need if you're gonna destroy your AGV Pista GP RR. Now, links to everything in this video are gonna be down in the description below. So if you're interested, make sure you check that out. Boom, you're gonna need the Warhawk microphone right here i use a purple panda microphone and i put this little scruffy on here i just transferred this over from my old helmet but you'll need the purple panda mic you see the logo right there and then you need this little trs adapter but it's going to take it from this three prong here and we're going to make it into a two prong Senna, I was in a hurry when I bought this and this was the cheapest one they had at the store at the time so this is the model I went with if I had to do it again I don't know if I get the same one and then big shout out to Rytech Moto for sending these awesome parts out. I mean, you can just tell by the packaging that these parts are gonna be really, really super nice. Cause you guys know the chin on the Pista GPRR is super, super aggressive. So they made a specific mount. There's no mount from GoPro that's gonna fit on here. Comes with an alcohol wipe, what? Man, look at this. So you got the super aggressive curvature so that it does fit on the helmet. But my favorite thing that Rytech Moto makes is this thing right here. And if you guys know, I have three different bikes with all very different seating positions. So this bottom one here allows me to move the GoPro like this. And then this top one, once you keep the bottom one still, allows me to slide the GoPro forwards and backwards, which is clutch. So there's a million different positions that I can put this in when I'm riding on different types of bikes. So this is a must have for sure if you do any sort of vlogging. Look at that pretty carbon fiber. Oh my God, that is sexy. We're gonna wipe down this surface here. Ooh, I'm a little nervous. Definitely most expensive helmet I've ever owned. Don't this up though. All right, we got this, we got this. That is not centered. Still not centered, kind of, right? All right, I think that's pretty centered. Y'all tell me. Oh, it's good to be home. I know that much. I wasn't talking to you, Deeds. I was talking to that squirrel over there. Oh. Now we are going to go ahead and put the mic into the helmet here. So first thing I want to do is pop off this chin skirt right here. Woo! Make sure and toss it to the side. Now we're gonna take my purple panda mic. So we're gonna go ahead and install the mic on the right side of the helmet. And we're gonna pop these cheek pads out. This is like nerve wracking, I'm not even gonna lie. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna install the mic into the actual cheek pad itself right here. So I'm gonna unzip this. I'm gonna install the mic in the front part up here. Don't need this, so we're gonna pull that out. And so I don't have anything in my mouth anymore, which would be really nice. Pause. Now, before we route and close all this up, I'm gonna go ahead and put the GoPro on the front of the helmet so I know how much exactly slack I need to leave from these wires. So we got the GoPro. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this door off because we don't need this. I've got the media mod. You don't have to use this, but like I said, on a $1,500 helmet, my setup is gonna be flawless. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. Close the door. And you're gonna go ahead and wire the mic into this bottom hole down here. Boom. Boom. What? Boom. Am I straight enough here, do you think? Or am I curving a little? So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this awesome mount 
Once again, from Ride Tech Moto. Links for all this will be in the description down below. This is freaking awesome. I mean, just look at that adjustability, baby. Tell me that's not cool. Any angle you freaking want, you got. We're gonna go ahead and plug it into the GoPro. Boom. Boom. We're gonna want this pretty close. Maybe like right there, so there's just a little bit of slack. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the padding back. All right, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, I left a little slack here. In case if I did want to readjust it, I could just pull this off. Nice, clean look, baby. But now we're gonna go ahead and install this Cine headset. So we're gonna put it on the right side of the helmet. We're gonna go ahead and pull this padding off and clip the actual headset module onto the side of the helmet. Don't scratch my carbon fiber. I'm begging you. All right, headsets on there. We're gonna go ahead and route these wires next. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and take all of this padding out. And then you see right here on the back of the padding, you kind of have little cutouts here. That's where we're gonna install it. Now the volume may not be the best. I think the Cardo comes with like better high quality speakers, but this will do for now. I'll let y'all know when I do some testing how this works. I'd imagine it's not too bad. And then it's right here on this side of the pad. And then we're gonna go ahead and install the other side. All right, biggest thing I would make sure is that this wire comes out behind this because when you snap this in and put pressure around it you just don't want it to kink the wire in here now we're just going to go ahead and route everything back into the helmet and we're going to hide all this excess wiring in here try not to have the wires jumbled up anywhere so you feel them on your head try and make sure they're spread nice and thin all right so one thing you'll notice if you try and wire the wires overhead here i don't know if the camera's picking that up make sure you route it back behind the pad just so you're not feeling these wires on your head when you go to put your helmet on. Now you can no longer see any wires coming through over the top of the helmet. Oof. Last thing we need to install is this actual like headset here. So I'm honestly gonna do the same thing I did over there. I'm just gonna stick it to the pen. I'm gonna put it down up in here. Just so that I don't have a bunch of microphones in my mouth up here. As I'm writing in my last helmet, I did, and it was it got really annoying having a mic here and then also have my Senna. I'm gonna zip it up and we'll go ahead and button everything up and we'll see how it looks. Boom, man. Woo! You can't see any wiring that's in there. Oh, look how seamless that is. Bluetooth's right there. Purple Panda mic over here. Oh, if you vlog, if you motor vlog, you understand. This is such a gratifying feeling right here. Guys, what do y'all think? I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, ain't no janky setup going on that helmet right there. It's gonna be clean, sexy, pristine. Cause my last setup was eh, definitely a little questionable. Just a little bit. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. If you got some value out of this video, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Join the fast lane. Yay. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Fast lane news out, baby. Peace. Ah, oh, come on, guys. Y'all really thought I was going to do the mohawk on the freaking pizza. Psych. <laughs> Not on this bad boy. Don't worry. I'll pick that up.